Hey, what's going on guys? Hey, listen, I just wanted to show you guys the importance of chimney maintenance. So um, actually right behind me, you guys can see the stove stack for my wood stove. Um, I should have video recorded it earlier, but um, I removed the cap off of the stove. Um, and as you can see, this has actually now been cleaned. Um, this thing was caked plugged with uh loads of creosote um and that was just the cap so we're um actually gonna be um heading up there and taking a look to see how much creosote buildup we might have on the inside of that pipe so be right back all right so we are now up on the roof uh we're gonna take a quick peek and see what it looks like inside that chimney so let's take a let's take a look and it appears, wow, looks to be quite a bit of buildup in there. So all that crusty, flaky stuff, that's creosote. That is not supposed to be in there. Should be a nice, smooth, stainless um, chimney. So we definitely, definitely want to get that out of there. So, and if you... If you see behind me, right above my head, that would be my lovely wife doing her second batch of uh, maple syrup here at the Pro's Homestead. Oh, and I think I spy Crystal. Yes, that would be Crystal. You can hear her over everything else. That's how you know it's Crystal. All right guys, so Knowing that I need to clean my chimney out, I bought this product uh, off of Amazon. So we're gonna go ahead and open this thing up. Um, so this is supposed to be able to simply attach to my drill um, and basically be able to, with a flexible rod, be able to go down that chimney and uh, clean it up. So let's take a look. So the product itself. So the product is called Soot Eater. Sorry, here's the English side of it. So Soot Eater, the rotary chimney cleaning system. And no, I'm not getting paid from, from them or anything like that, but I just wanna take a look at what we got here. So let's pop this thing open. Let's see what we got. like six of them so there's six three foot rods and they're all uh they're all able to kind of clip into each other so we can get the length that we need instructions i'm a guy who needs those i don't think there's anything else in there and then the actual thing itself so let's, let's get this thing opened up. Okay. Take a look at what this looks like here. So Allen wrench. And I believe this is the quick adapter that goes into the drill. So this thing here, so it's really hard i mean it's a hard plastic um very similar to weed whacker line so it's really actually it's very 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 similar same same thickness um i wonder if i could have just made something like this myself but very similar to, to weed whacker line so um I'm gonna open the rest of this stuff up, grab the drill and see how this thing So works. unfortunately I couldn't uh, show you how that actually worked because I ended up having to take this whole pipe off of the stove and didn't have a free hand, but essentially it does what it's supposed to do. Um, goes in, it spins sort of kind of like a dryer vent cleaner and it cleaned it all out, um, made, made somewhat of a mess, but that was to be expected, but um, actually did a really good job.
Well, we're back up here. Now let's see if that made a difference. Can't really, can't really tell. Oh, yes, you can. So you can see it a lot better from the inside out, but there was a ton, a ton of stuff in there. So we're gonna put this chimney cap back on and uh, call it a day.